I'm gonna show you something I don't think you've ever seen before. Like, ever, ever. Hey travel lovers, welcome to A Wanderlust for Life, the channel that shows you European gems through food and memorable experiences. I'm Jessica and I am excited because today I am working with the province of Enol here in the south of Belgium. And we are going to show you some foodie experiences that you're gonna love and some outdoor experiences that'll be super memorable. So let's see what we can get into. Our first stop is in the Chime area here in the Anolt region, and it is so beautiful. So we went to the small like town center, which is gorgeous. Like just walking around there was so nice. But the whole area is actually surrounded by a forest that you can just, there's like little pool offs where you can park and then walk through, you can camp. It's so relaxing even just driving through here. But that's a key, you really need a car to get to this gem, so no trains get yourself a car. You can also come to the Chimay Experience, which is where we are right now, and they explain to you all about Trappist beer and why it's so important and also how it's made. I learned that a Trappist beer is made in an abbey, made by monks or supervised by monks, and the money is given to charities, which I think is super, super cool. A lot of people actually come here for just the beer and to taste it and to see where it's actually made. And behind me, they have like lots of cool exhibitions, but behind me we have hops, which I think is super cool. Now we are gonna continue on our little adventure in this area, let's go. So we just got back from the Abbey. It was so nice. So they gave us a tablet so you could find your way there through the woods. And if you guys have been watching me a while, you know I love being in the woods and the forest. So that was definitely my happy place. So glad we did that. We didn't film inside me talking to you guys. I'm sorry, but I just didn't feel right, you know? But we were back here at the experience. We were trying the beer and we'll try some cheeses. Now, you may remember that I'm not the biggest beer fan, but you know what, when in Rome, right? <laughs> so we have their four beers. We have the gold, the red back here, the white and the blue. And I'm gonna try them all and then let you know if I have a favorite at the end, but don't worry, Sean, who does like beer, is gonna try them and then let you know his favorite. Let's start sipping. So we have the gold. Okay, so that one is, I believe, the one that the monks drink. Lower alcohol level, very light, refreshing. That one has a little bit more body, more flavor. I'm pretending like I know anything about beer. You like that? <laughs> okay. And then this is everybody's favorite. So this was a little, this is the blue, it's a limited edition. And then everybody loved it so much that they kept making it. And it's about half their production now. So I'm sure it's gonna be good. Totally different flavor. I think if I had to pick one, it would definitely be the blue one. But I'm gonna let Sean try them and he'll come back to you and let you know what his favorite is. Okay, babe, which one was your favorite? Well, I think overall I like the blue one uh, the best. It's, uh, it's really like full body and has great flavor. But today, like because of the weather, I really like the gold one because it's super uh, refreshing. That cheese was fantastic. I just dug in and I was eating that old cheese like it was my last day on this earth. And it's a year old, so it was aged one year that beautiful color to it. Anyway, now we have come to this beautiful lakes area. I'm gonna try to say it, please forgive me when I say it wrong. <laughs> it's Le Lac de l'Eau Dieu. See if I say that right, I'm so sorry if I didn't. But we are at the Golden Lakes Hotel here and we have just checked in. So I'm gonna give you a quick room tour. We have a lake view and this beautiful bright space. And I love this because of the brightness. So we have this massive bed over here. We have a desk, chair, and the luggage rack, but also a nice TV that's mounted high enough. I feel like a lot of TVs are really low when you're in bed and it's really awkward to watch. So, I mean, it's like the little things about hotel rooms, right? Okay, the bathroom is nice and spacious. We have a massive shower that looks really nice. And then a sink with the, you know, the countertop so you can have so much room for your toiletries, your makeup, your washes, all that. And then there's a counter on top of the toilet. I just feel like the bathroom is one of the places that there is never enough flat surfaces to put all your stuff. One more thing that I wanna show you, and it's right behind Sean. It's these babies. I believe everywhere that it's possible to have a hook, there should be a hook. We have four hooks out here on the side of the wardrobe, plus the hangers inside, plus the shelves, plus hooks in the bathroom. You wanna make sure that you can put stuff everywhere and everything's not piled on top of each other. So 
that is the room tour. And now we are gonna head out and explore by bike. Let's go. just full of things to do. There's SUP, stand up paddleboarding. You can go kayaking. You can, I mean, we were just at the Ferris wheel. There's just so many different things and you can take your bike around the entire lake and even into the nearest city or town probably. <laughs> there is just so much to do with the adventure park, the zip lining. Oh my gosh, I'll leave all the information down below. But if you are in this area or you just like outdoorsy things, this is the place to come to, and there's plenty of rooms if you want to stay for a little while. After a nice bike ride and then a very nice shower, we have come to a nice restaurant here at the hotel. So we are at the Brasserie, and we have started with a Belgian cheese plate. It looks and smells amazing. And we are also getting the specialty, which is a lamb. At least that's the special of the day. And it's just it's gonna be an absolutely gorgeous meal. I can't wait for you to see it. The lamb's here, and it smells very strongly of something I can't quite place, so we're gonna try the broth. It's so flavorful. I just can't put my finger on it. Like, it's a tomato-y, it's, but it's like, just a really strong flavor in a good way. I don't know, if I figure it out, I'll definitely let you know, but this is humongous. Am I even gonna be able to eat this all? I don't know. That lamb was incredible. I didn't even realize I liked lamb as much as I liked that dish. I still haven't really figured out what that secret flavor is, but I think it might have been bell peppers, maybe? But it was so much food, you really get your value for money here. But it was just, the whole experience was amazing, and we got to bring back the rest of our wine. Maybe you can tell them a little tipsy, maybe not. That's okay, but this is the perk of being on the property. But tomorrow, guys, it's gonna be incredible. I'm gonna show you something I don't think you've ever seen before. Like, ever, ever. Are you ready for some more outdoor adventure here in Anom? Well, we are here at this famous funicular lift. It's about elevator. I just, I cannot even wrap my head around it. So this is a more modern one, but we're gonna start by taking a cruise through the old canal and we're gonna see some old stuff. We're gonna see some new stuff and it's all super crazy fascinating and it's a beautiful day. How lucky are we? So let's get on the boat. <laughs> Now we are in one of the locks in the old canal and it's really exciting to see how things used to be because this is absolutely tiny. You can see we are right next to the wall. We're about, what, 25 centimeters uh, smaller than the lock, which is kind of crazy. So this old canal had four different small elevators and that is what we're gonna check out now. So we're wondering, that's a road that goes into that hole that we're filling up water. I'm very confused right now. I'm a dum-dum because we're in an elevator, not a lock. That's why the road can be there because we're in a walled vessel thing that's carrying us up. Makes sense now. I'm just, this is like a totally new concept to me. They are like a hundred years old. Can you imagine just the, the ingenuity that went into this? It's insane. It is so cool to get like these views, but also to be in an elevator for a boat. Have I said that enough times? Because it's an elevator for a boat. <laughs> After we went through lift number four, so we were going up the canal, we went to lift number three, but we didn't go up the lift. We actually stopped the boat, got off to check out the machine house, the machine room, and the lifts, and the, the canal, and the historic center canal are all part of UNESCO Heritage Site, so you get to experience what it's been like for about 100 years, which is crazy. And these are the only ones in the entire world that are still using hydraulics with water, so it's all powered by water. 
insane, right? Like this has been so much more interesting than I expected. And then you take a train right back over to the more modern one and go through and see how this was built and you get to check out the panoramic area. Super cool. Now let's go have another adventure. For lunch and for a tasting, we have come to Chanteol here in the countryside. It is so beautiful here. We have the vineyards behind me. I have a spritz in my hand and we are gonna do some wine tasting later. But first, lunch. This place is so great. It's packed, everybody seems to love it. So definitely a treat if you're in this part of Belgium. was so nice. The atmosphere in the pavilion was just so joyous. It just felt really good, but also I got a spritzer that has their own mixer in it and it's made, I think, out of kumquats. Was that right? Gin and kumquats. Right? Gin and kumquats? Super cool. They likened it to kind of an Aperol spritz, but I think it was way better than an Aperol spritz. And I got a cod and the sauce they made also with that mixer. So cool. Like, it's just really clever what they're doing here. And we got a tour of the property. They're growing like crazy and one of their specialties is this pink drink full of bubbles so apparently pink sparkling wine is super popular here and so that is kind of what they're just going with it <laughs> so it's Chardonnay and Pinot Noir and it is so good also their Blanc de Blancs also amazing and I'm not a big champagne fan but these are made with the method of champagne thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like leave me a comment down below if you've ever visited Belgium and if not if this has you know enticed you to do so we'll see you in the next video bye guys